What's going on today, Mary Byram? Painting in the snow. Hey, it's starting to lighten up a little bit. I can actually see the spire of the church. Yeah, I was painting over here because, I was painting this view here because it was snowing so hard you couldn't see very well, and it was just like fog. It looked like fog. So then I waited for it to sort of like come together. What kind of medium together. are you using, Mary Byram? I'm using gouache, and then I put, this is, this is what it looked like in the storm. Like it's like completely, it's sort of freezing. It's in the 20s, so it's, it's setting up a little, it's freezing a little bit. But I'm trying to keep the snow off of it, so I had it under the back of the car so I could keep it out of the snow, and I wasn't holding it, but the snow's getting in everything. But what now, kind of bundle up, Mary? I'm wearing, I don't know, five layers maybe, four layers. Good to protect oneself. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally warm. I'm totally warm. You I haven't even. Should be comfortable if we're painting outdoors. Don't. Y yeah. It's not like very, indoors. No, very comfortable. I haven't even changed out of my um, sneakers to my boots yet because I'm still warm enough. All your plain air painters out there, take note. Got to dress for the weather. It's nice, especially New England, which yeah. we are right now. In fact, we're Kittery, Maine. And, and if I swim my camera this way, we're Maybe looking at Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And I can now see the church spire. Two states. I can see the, the North Church spire. There's the North Church, people. Let me zoom in on it. Oops, like, sorry. Sorry about my finger there. Okay, here we go. It's like really um, That clearing. is the North Church, that gray spire in the middle of everything. It's sort of an off-white gray. Yeah, it's kind really of a nice. gray day, Mary Byram. It's sort of tones of... No, it's tonalism. It's soft what colors. What is tonalism? You muted, keep talking soft, about that. Tonalism, it's, it's soft, muted colors. It's a certain kind of feeling. It's narrow, narrow um, values. It's very narrow values. To it's, me, that would require a certain amount of skill. Well, also you have to be able to see it. And like it. Maybe number liking one. it. Hey, number one, like it. Number two, liking see it. it. Number three, yeah, paint it. There aren't any, like, there's, a, there's, an, there's enough darks here to hold it together. So you've got some they have the people. armature going on. But um, when doing the landscape, hey, look at yeah. the salt piles. You have to. Hey, there's Mr. Steam Shovel Man. Look at look at the salt tires. They're moving the salt. No ships yet. But if the salt the, goes onto the roads, they pile it up there, right in the harbor. So this check is it a, out, people. Yeah, so this is a really good location because when the ships come in, the salt ships come in. They're right there, and you can paint incredible pictures of the salt ships. And the views here are phenomenal. But urban landscape. It's really nice. At your fingertips. Yeah, it's really nice. Even the backs of all these little clusters of houses on the hills. It's, I mean, it's really nice over here. It's a beautiful spot. It's a really beautiful spot. Well, we're going to be putting this on your YouTube channel. Hey, Mary that's Byram. a nice thing. That's we're a nice thing. Stockpile all these outdoor adventures. I hope people like them. Look at all these cars going over the bridge. Now you can see the cars going over the bridge before that's you couldn't. That's a bridge, even... people. It's you called the Mil Mildred Long Bridge, and it bridge. used to be an ugly green thing, and now it's a big ugly gray thing. But it's higher off the water, so the ships can go up the channel, up the river here. You can actually see the cars going over. Piscataqua River, all the oil tankers. No, you can actually see the cars going over, which, you know, before you couldn't see the cars. I can see birds flying above the water, the reflections, look at all these reflections in the water. What about behind you, Mary Byron? Any painting scenes over here that you could capture your eye? Yeah, there's this really nice inlet here that comes, with the, as the tide starts to come in, which I think is starting to come in now, this inlet will fill with water. And so then again, you'll have all these, like, beautiful shapes. Um, as it comes in with the snow contrasting with the water coming in and and when it goes out the wet mud once but, a big once again people you have to be able to see it it's nice i mean you can see this whole big shape here it's like really you know it's shapes tell me more about shapes mary byron simple shapes simple shapes you have to you have to be able, you basically have to train your brain to be able to see everything in simple shapes so you can make some order out of it because mm. otherwise it just looks like a lot of stuff i mean my students look at it and go you know they're like overwhelmed they can't they can't I start to analyze it and see what's going on and I'm always designing it I'm looking at shapes I'm trying to see what can I do with the shapes what can I grab with the shapes how can I put stuff together so you actually re would regard the landscape as chaos how much of plein air pain painting is order creating out. order out of chaos the only thing, how much the whole thing the whole thing the whole thing 100 percent yeah the whole thing is every now and then you see stuff but I mean la nature doesn't design paintings so so typically you're always redesigning the landscape to put on to your yeah you just like pick and choose canvas. you pick it pick it you, know, you pick and choose what you're going to accentuate or what you're going to build oh, on oh this is revolutionary some people <laughs> <laughs> Some people drag their junk out there and paint what's in front of them. What do you think about that, Mary Byron? I think that's pretty uh, difficult to do, and I think that's like probably what most people don't know anything. They don't know how to do it. They don't know anything about Folks, it. Folks, I think if you want to learn a new way, you should follow Mary Byram because that's well, they, they don't know that they don't all know the that masters they... design their paintings. Is that correct? Yes. I know that's a lot because I hang around Mary Byron. That's why they look. That's why the paintings look really good from the people who were the masters, um, because they look really good because they're thinking about it and they're picking and choosing. So and they actually analyzing. didn't paint what was in front of them. Or they moved so that what was in front of them looked really good. 
Oh, so well. Wenzel Homer, the Wenzel Homer was interesting. He was in New York Harbor and he, made, and he put figures right in front of a building that he didn't want to paint uh, because I guess he didn't like the way it looked and he didn't want it, want it there. So he put figures in front of it and painted them blocking the building. Whereas I just would take the building out. <laughs> I'm trying to cram as much information as possible into this video. Oh, stop it. I think I'm doing pretty good. Get off it. So look, yours this truly, is really nice. The, yours truly the interviewer. Okay, so I'm going to, I think I might switch to oils now. If, now that it's um, letting up a little bit, I might switch to oils. And I did a quick, I was doing quick washes, but I think I might switch to oils because I like what's going on and I think I get some nice things to go, going here. It looks, you know. Hey, there's even a fishing boat going up the river. Yeah. This is the nice thing. See, I'm out here. The people fishing, the guys fishing are out here. The guys driving trucks are out here doing it. I mean, it's just nice. We might even see there a couple it, There's the little fishing boat going you know, Come out later on, too. It's, well, it's, thank you very much, Mary Byron. We'll, we'll get back to you when you get your oils out. You're welcome. This is great. The colors are fantastic, and the white is beautiful. Say bye to everyone, Mary Byron. Bye, everybody.